So I'm gonna be making some chocolate dipped Oreo pops. I'm gonna take my Oreos and the first thing you have to do is split them in half. So just a nice twist. And this is a good job for the kids to do. And just right onto a cookie sheet. So I'm gonna do a few of those. Good to be very gentle with Oreos. Probably the greatest cookie ever invented. But I have just my lollipop sticks. You can buy any kind in the store. They have the fun kind of swirly ones. They have these. And what I'm gonna do is I need to glue my sticks onto my Oreos. If I just tried to put them in like this and sandwich them together, they're gonna end up falling out. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white chocolate. You can see I just have a bowl of melted white chocolate. And I'm just gonna kind of dip my stick just a little bit right into the center of my Oreo. Yee. And then super gently, I'm just gonna press my cookie together. You don't wanna press too hard because it's gonna snap your cookie. So just nice and gently. And that white chocolate is gonna act as glue. So once that chocolate sets up and gets hard, it's gonna keep my cookie on my pop. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple more. Right into my white chocolate, onto my cookie, and glue them together. Just push, push, push. Firm but gentle, that's the key. So again, into my white chocolate. All right, so that's step one. If you wanna be extra safe, you can refrigerate those. But if not, just kinda go for it. Oh, see, snapped one already. If you snap it, it's kind of okay. You can get away with it, but that's fine. Okay, so I have my pops ready to go. And now I have a nice bowl of dark chocolate. This chocolate has been tempered. So this way when I dip my Oreo pops, it's gonna set up with a nice snap and sheen. It's gonna be glossy but firm. So I'm gonna take some of my pops that have been resting and I'm just gonna, you have a choice. You can entirely dunk the pop into the chocolate. Some people love that. Or I like to do it a little, a little halfway kind of a dip. But we'll do a couple of variations. So I'm just gonna let some of my chocolate drizzle off and then I'm just gonna kind of push against the side of the bowl just to get too much extra off of the bottom and then right onto a cookie sheet or a piece of parchment paper. Let's do a couple more sideways. Okay, let it drizzle right off the side. Okay, let's do one dunked completely. So if you wanna dunk completely, remember that the melted chocolate is very heavy. So be very gentle about just letting the chocolate kind of drizzle off. Okay, just a little bit off the bottom and onto my parchment. We'll do one more of those. Dunk, lift, let drizzle. Okay, so now we have a really nice thin layer of chocolate. And I'm just gonna leave those there. And now any toppings that you want, that's kind of your prerogative. You can take a little bit of sprinkles and do a little a little sprinkle action, which is really cute. Or you could take a little melted white chocolate and just kind of drizzle a little bit of white chocolate over your cookie. Just in kind of a fun, no fuss kind of a way. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pop those into the fridge, let them set for about five minutes until I can touch them and they're not wet anymore. And that's how you make chocolate dipped Oreo pops.